Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. And we're loading up some trucks here with a little bit of dry corn out of the dryer. We've let the dryer run for quite some time here. And so I've got a full load here. And I had gotten extremely excited because there's a great demand for corn right now. And it's selling at $13 a bushel, which is pretty good for the normal corn given the time of year that we're in. However, if we go over here and look at dry corn, the prices are uh, a little bit more mediocre where I would expect them. But then I noticed that the Valero Autumn Grain Pile, which I believe is only open during the harvest seasons, has a pretty decent price right now. And so we're going to actually run a truckload of corn up to um, that sell point just to experience uh, selling at that particular sell point since we won't be able to get into there at later points during the year. I thought it would be kind of fun to run a truck up there. So we're going to head on down there. Uh, I believe it's actually in the lower part of the map there right next to our big field that we just got done harvesting. And so we're going to head down there and sell a load of corn. And uh, while that... Uh, truck is heading down to the sell point we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this equipment uh, away here we're all done doing tillage for uh, this year we're gonna try and no till as much of our crops in I think next year as possible so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, we got all this stuff washed up fueled up we're gonna get it all put into the sheds here so it's out of our way we can get around the yard just a little bit easier here We've also got our Ford Super Duty back to normal here. We had lost the duels off of it, uh, as many of you noticed in the previous episode. Uh, that happened because I had to remove this gooseneck hitch in order to get that tow truck mod to work correctly. And when I removed the hitch, all of my wheel configuration options got reset and I didn't notice it right away. So that's what happened there and uh, now we've got that all put back to normal here so i'm happy to have the truck back to normal and i'm also super excited to announce that this truck has now been officially released so if you want to get your hands on this amazing uh truck that i've been showcasing for a little while now on the channel head on over to northwest mods and edits and you're going to be able to download this uh from jonathan Deboy in his group uh, he's done an awesome job on putting this truck together, and I was super happy to get a chance to showcase this on the channel. I'm really excited that it's finally out now. So we're down here at the bottom of the map, and this is the Valero Renewable Choices cell point here. I believe this is probably an ethanol plant, and so we're going to go ahead and see if we can follow this through as we're supposed to so we're gonna pull right up here on the scales we're gonna let it take our uh, measurements here and we're gonna swing around here and see if we can find the appropriate path to go to get over here to this dump pile so let's open up the view here just a little bit and we can see we've got two different directions we can go We've got corn delivery and receiving over here. So let's head on over here. We've got deliveries and ethanol here. But I'm kind of curious. I want to sell at this corn pile here. And so I think we need to come over here to this dump point if we want to get the corn pile prices. And so we're going to see if this thing is going to work for us here. I believe, yep, it's got its own dump point here. So let's go ahead and try that out. Oh, look at that. That's going to work wonderfully for us. So we're going to go ahead and put all of this corn into the corn pile here. And the money is uh, starting to roll in here pretty quick. While that's unloading, we can come in here and see a few of our other costs. I repaired a bunch of our equipment today. And so you can see we've got almost six grand in vehicle running costs. We've got almost another two grand in fuel costs here. And I'm not sure what the 2,500 and other is, 
but as you can see we had quite a few costs coming out of the end of the season here so it's nice to pull in a little bit of money here in the fall and be able to pay down some of that debt here that's going to put 46k of cash back in the bank so we're going to be able to pay down this loan just a little bit here and get us down to $110,000 of debt that we're carrying. And so we're getting real close to being able to pay off that loan. So we're all emptied out here. So we're going to come around here. Now, technically, I suppose we should have to uh, weigh out again here. And so we're going to circle right around this way. And come over here to... Our way scale they say the wrong way i would have expected to be able to hit one of these uh scales on the way back out i'm not exactly sure how these are uh set up because this is definitely the wrong way here to get weighed so i'm uh wondering if there should have been a another scale somewhere for us to go to either way we're going to uh jump back out here and head on back up to the farm so we've advanced the clock forward here into late autumn we've got all of our trucks up here the dryer's been running here so i'm gonna get this green truck out of the way uh, we've got both semis kind of hooked up here and we might as well use them to keep this dryer going we're down to the last 40,000 liters of corn here. I got the auger shut off full, which uh, generally I like to avoid. But we were uh, loading up the truck here and not paying attention. So we are all topped off now. And I'm going to get this thing unloading. And then we'll uh, pull that other truck up here and see if we can get the uh, dryer emptying out again. I feel like this is finally going to be the day we're going to get all of our corn through the dryer here. And as always, we've got to double check and make sure that the auger's all lined up here and able to unload into the bin. Seems to be uh, working good here. And we'll go ahead and pull this other truck up here under the auger. If I recall correctly, we shouldn't have enough corn in here to fully load this truck up so let's see how this goes i'm uh i'm excited we're twenty five thousand liters here i've got the clock cranked up so we're gonna just keep things moving here i want this to uh i want this to all be done here as fast as possible we've got a couple thousand bushels in the dryer right now ready to go and these trucks are holding a little bit under three grand here from a bushel perspective they are some pretty big trailers on these trucks so while that goes we're gonna come back and check on this other truck it looks like we're getting close it looks like we're getting close this uh hopper's uh a little bit tippy here we're getting caught up here with our auger it looks like i think i might have to hop back in here and let just a little bit more out nope we got it all in there so that auger was able to keep up with us if just. So we'll pull this truck around. I think we're gonna need this last truck to get everything out of the dryer here. Finally, finally. And it looks like the other truck is full here already. So that's perfect timing for us. We'll just, uh, we'll keep this all moving here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this truck. We'll get it unloading first. And then we're going to circle back and get the rest of that corn dumped in there. I think that by the time we're done unloading this, the dryer should be finished with this last load. There we go, all lined up and unloading. And back and forth and back and forth. Well, let's get this going. Our final load of corn out of the dryer here. I can see it unloading here. We've got 600 liters to go here. So let's fire up this auger and get it unloading here. 20 liters to go, zero. We are done with the corn. Awesomeness. Well, let's get this truck pulled around here and uh, make sure the other one finished unloading successfully here. And we'll get all of this corn into our bins and take stock of our 
final dry corn numbers minus a single truck here. I am excited. We're going to make quite the profit off of this farm this year, which is good. We had uh, taken out a loan for all of our inputs, and I feel like we're more than going to pay back that 100k loan since a couple of trucks is uh, going to equal the amount that we've got out, even at the current prices. And so if we hold on to this stuff until winter where we got our better contract prices for corn, we're going to make a small fortune here. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes for us here. And while that's emptying out here, let's turn our HUD back on here, open up our F1 menu. And if we come over here, we're going to come in at not quite 900,000 liters of corn here. 61% of that bin. And if we look here at our numbers, that's 24,000 bushels of corn. We had a couple thousand more in that semi-trailer, almost 3,000 more. So if we round up 27,000 bushels of corn dried. So we've been, uh, we've been working hard here. Oh, we didn't even get this in. So we've got 1,000 more in here. So that's 28,000 bushels of corn. That's impressive. So let's go ahead and get that dumped in here real quick. And we'll be done with corn harvest uh, here finally. So with 28,000 bushels of corn in the bins and all of our stuff all wrapped up here for the fall season, I think we're going to be jumping into uh, winter and, and selling off all this corn here in the next episode and kind of taking stock of where this farm is going to land for the uh, full calendar year here in seasons. I do want to thank everybody for following along in this series. It's been an absolute blast as we come into FS22 here in the very near future. I'm going to be looking to get going on some content over on the new game as soon as it comes out. And so we're going to kind of take uh, stock of where that's at. And uh, I think we've got, you know, a couple more episodes here on Lincoln Creek coming in the next few days here as well. So stay tuned for that and other exciting announcements on the channel here over the next few days. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. That's all for today. Kedrick out. Oh, he's stuck, stuck. Come on. Er, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stuck keys.